patient lies in a supine position with feet extending over the end of the examining table. The PT grasps the patient's foot over the fourth and fifth metatarsal heads using the thumb and index finger of one hand. The PT palpates both sides of the head of the talus on the dorsum of the foot with the thumb and index finger of the other hand. The PT then passively dorsiflexes the foot until resistance is felt. While the dorsiflexion is maintained, the foot is passively moved through an arc of supination and pronation. This supine test position is best for determining the relation of the forefoot to the hind foot. The patient lies in a supine position with feet extending over the end of the examining table. The PT grasps the patient's foot over the fourth and fifth metatarsal heads using the thumb and index finger of one hand. The PT palpates both sides of the head of the talus on the dorsum of the foot with the thumb and index finger of the other hand. The PT then passively dorsiflexes the foot until resistance is felt. While the dorsiflexion is maintained, the foot is passively moved through an arc of supination and pronation. This supine test position is best for determining the relation of the forefoot to the hind foot. The patient is in a relaxed standing position so that the base width and fake angle are normal for the patient. The PT palpates the head of the talus on the dorsal aspect of the foot with the thumb and forefinger of one hand. Patient slowly rotates the trunk to the right and to the left, which causes the tibia to medially and laterally rotate so that the talus supinates and pronates.